everybody and welcome back to Sky Bees. And in this episode, we finally upgrade our beehive to a tier 4 apiary. Oh my god, this thing is so OP. And we also make ourselves an elite centrifuge. And we also get creative flight. Well, that happens in this episode. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are upgrading our bees. Pretty much in terms of getting more comb and upgrading the refining system. We got this one single centrifuge out here, wherever it is, is over here, is not cutting it. Like I know it's slowly going through everything since now we're having everything automatically pumped out and stored and all the honey being stored, which has now got us 2000 buckets. But I think it's about time we upgrade this thing even further by making ourselves the big centrifuges. Now, before we start, I want to make a few things, and that is to make ourselves our diamond ring. Since the last episode, we said we were going to make the creative uh, flight, but then we realized, oh, wait, we need a block of ender stars, which requires the ender crafter and eyes of ender and some nether stars. So we need a total of nine of these guys to make the block. And then once we get the block, we can make ourselves the diamond ring. And I also did go ahead and make myself a second emerald jetpack. So if we look in here at emerald, I've got the emerald jetpack. So all we have to do is make the ender crafters. Now these are going to require ender ingots, which is iron and ender pearls. Now at the moment I have about 72 iron. So I'm only going to be able to make a bit of this. And you know what? I'm just going to turn all the iron into it for now. So ender crafter is made like this. I need a crafting table now. So that's the ender crafter. And the more of these ender alternators that you put around this thing, the faster it will go. So I'm just going to make uh, a few of these now. If we want to make a little bit more, I will in a second. I'm just going to stick it over in this corner, about here. I'm just going to stick two on each side. Uh, so I need to make another two for these now. And that should be all of them maxed out there. So with that now, if I just grab Eyes of Ender. So I have about this many. I just need a total of nine at least. Okay, that's fine. And some stars. Uh, I just need no, nine nether stars, eight, nine. There we go. Stick all of these in here and just pretty much let this run now. Right. So we'll probably be able to finish the cradle flight before the end of the episode, but I just need to leave nine of those craft. And while nine of those are crafting, let's just quickly make ourselves the actual jetpack. So I need to sell two basic chemical tanks. That will make us two jetpacks. There we go. Now, to make armored ones, I need four diamond dust. So, one, two, three, four. It's going to come over here to a crusher. And now I can just upgrade these to armored. So, do one more. There we go. Two armored jetpacks. And that's pretty much it now to make ourselves the actual diamond ring. So, I need blocks of mana diamonds. So, I can actually head over to the Botania stuff and grab that now. So, how many of those do I need? I need a total of eight. So, how many can I make? Just one. Okay, that just means I need to throw a stack of diamonds in the mana pool over here. There we go, 64 of them. Uh, why do I still have mystical gray flowers? All right, chuck those in there. Uh, we set eight in total. There's seven, eight. And we might as well stick them into the crafting table now because you can leave actually stuff in it. So we want to stick them in the corners here. So the jet pack, so jet pack. Uh, just two of these now. So I think the armored ones go top and bottom. The emerald ones go left and right. I'll keep wearing this one until I have everything. Star metal. Uh, I've only got 25. And how many? Oh, wait, no, I just need the ingots. Okay, so I just need nine ingots. We're going to need ourselves. That's it. Okay, so once I have the actual ender stars, that should be it then. And then we can make our diamond ring and then make this guy. Because I think I have everything except for gold plates. So if I just grab myself a stack of gold. Uh, there's the gold. Uh, we won't have to worry too much about resources now coming up because we're going to be making everything with bees. Like right now, as you can see, like when it's nighttime, the bees are actually in their hives. They don't come out and there's no combs. Well, except for you for some reason. Um, But once you get the apiary, once their timer is up, it insta kicks them out, which is exactly what I want. So if we come over here now, I actually made myself a pattern grid and a crafter because we're going to automate the actual crafting of these apiaries because crafting by hand is going to be a bit annoying. So we're going to craft each one individually. So let's start off with the basic beehive. We're going to make it like this with oak. There we go. So that's pattern one. I might need to actually make a few more crafters because this guy can only hold like nine slots. Uh, there's no none of the extra crafters in here. So everything has to be crafted by hand. 
Regular beehive is in grass. I actually have grass growing in a botany pot. It's not going into the system, but it's made makes it about 500 every like eh, roughly hour. Tier 2 beehive is made like this with regular honeycomb because I have so much of that, 5k. I'm going to use this honeycomb for crafting, so I'm not too worried about wasting other honeycomb. And then the tier 4, which is the most expensive one, done. So there's our 4 beehives, or 5 beehives. For the tier 1 apiary, it's made like this, so apiaries with a nether star and blocks of honeycomb. Upgrade this guy to tier 2. Upgrade this guy to tier 3. Just keeps using more nether stars every time. The last but not least, tier 4. Then I'm also going to need an apiary storage. Uh, not them chests. Uh, let's just look up regular chest. Here we go. Apiary storage. And I'm not too worried about the breeder. I can manually craft a breeder because I only need one. Uh, but to be honest, I actually don't need the breeder anymore because I've bred every single bee I have. Or it is in the, in the pack. So don't necessarily need that. The last thing I need to craft now is the actual ender beacon. So ender beacon is crafted like this. Now I can grab myself a tank. Uh, the dimensional tank. Can I craft that? I am missing a solid thing. So I'm out of iron. How much iron have I comb have I made since? Okay, about 43. So one of these solid ones. Now we need to make ourselves a cauldron. And then make the dimensional tank. There we go. And what number do we have the, iron, the honey in here? Honey is on frequency 2. So let's go over to the hive we're going to put this in. Which is going to be the top one here. So... The emerald bee is going to be, or not emerald, the ender bee is going to be in there. So if I just break into the roof here, find the center, put the bee beacon down. Does that actually give off light? It does, but I'm just going to stick the torch in here anyway. Just to make sure. Can I actually stick it on top? No, I'll just stick it to the side. Now I need to grab myself a pipe, uh, advanced mechanical pipe, that should do. And uh, my configurator, config. I actually don't need this wand on me, so I can just chuck that in the system. And that's it. So, dimensional tank is going to go at the back here. I'm going to change it to frequency 2. Change. Now it's honey. Stick that here. Get you up to extract. Oh, you actually send off a beacon effect. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. And I can see it from the sky. Oh god, that actually might be a bit annoying, but... It'll stop bees from teleporting around. Maybe I should put it underneath. I sh uh, it should work from underneath. So let's actually have a look at the quick bee here. So, bee... Should I even put the bee down just yet? Because I'm going to have to pick up every bee before I even put them in the apiary anyway. Ender iron. Okay, I'm going to have to wait until um, the bee is actually ready. So we'll come back down over here. We can put these in here now. So all of them. And apiary storage. You know what? I can actually just craft this manually. I'm not too worried about it. So chest. Uh, I have 60 something chests. Okay, so apiary storage. We need how many of these actually before I craft them? So one, two, three, four four five six seven we need seven of them and have a look in here now so we need eight of these or seven of these guys so that's five what are we missing now hoppers make a few more hoppers oh we're out of iron now but so five six seven so that's all the apiary storages we need and if we look up apiary now tier four if we were to make seven of these guys can i craft it okay missing seven thousand of this missing fifteen thousand blocks missing that much Wow, okay, it's actually missing a lot more than I thought. Can I at least make one? No. I'm missing more honey and honey blocks and some grass. I'm missing 700 grass. Um. Right, how can I get more of that quicker? The only real way I can really think about it is just to use up some of the comb I have. Like, if I look up grass, I have 1.3k. I could set up more... Botany pots just growing a ton of grass, or I could sh bone meal a huge area and then uh, shear it. But I think I'll just grab out a bunch of this bone meal and just go up top and just sit there and just sieve a ton of it. Uh, or not sieve, uh, bone meal this guy, just speed it up. Like he's made 33 since I started recording, and if I just sit here just bone mealing it, I might be able to produce quite a bit just to be able to like get enough grass, and then I'll worry about making the actual honey blocks. Okay, I've gotten to the point where I may have already made a few apiaries. <laughs> uh, not, not intentionally, but it's just I was crafting some of the hives. And I managed to craft like four stacks of each one. And I just uh, decided to go ahead and like craft up as many of them. But I actually ran out of these guys because I ran out of honey blocks. So now I have enough to make one more apiary. So yeah, uh, I got enough grass. So I think I've actually used up pretty much all the grass. Yeah. 
Uh, but right now, since we're out of honey, I have this solidifier hooked up and it's making honey blocks at the moment. But uh, I've actually disconnected the actual uh, pipe that's sucking the honey out of like an internal storage to now use glass bottles to make us nine honey bottles at the same time. So I filled this guy up so it should just keep feeding it with glass bottles. And if I look up honey now, um, it should have a few in here now. Yeah, 30 something. So I can stick those in there. For the reason it kind of glitches out when you're trying to craft it. So I might have to use an actual RF tools crafter to make those, but whatever. So let's come back down over here and let's just see if we can make ourselves one apiary. So one tier four. I'm still missing that much. Wow, okay. Um, How many tier ones does it need? To craft 28, available 36. Wow, it needs like a full stack of them just to make one. Actually, I think it is an exact full stack just to make one. Well then, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about this honeycomb. So I guess I'm just going to have to keep manually crafting them up as far as I can. Because I'm all out of other honeycombs. So I'm just going to have to keep using these. So that's nine of them. That makes one tier or two tier trees. So, yeah. I definitely need at least a stack of tier ones to be able to make this. How many more tier ones can I make? Ten? No. So... I don't know what I'm going to do for that. I'm just going to have to keep manually crafting. So maybe auto crafting isn't necessarily going to work. There's 17 of them. And what did it say I needed? Like another 401? Ugh, okay. I need 28 more of these guys. But I have available them to craft them. Yeah, it's just really the honey that's the issue at the moment. Um, But I should be able to do it. So bottle. I've got 49. I should be able to stick these in here like this. There's another 12 of them. There's seven of them. Yeah, I'm going to be in a little while. So until I have enough honey, I'll be RB. Actually, you know what we could do while we're waiting for the honey to generate? We could actually start working on making the refineries. So uh, I don't think I need honey for a, a cent or not refinery, a centrifuge. And I think I can actually auto craft those as now as well. So if we come over here and you know what? I'm going to remove all these. So let's just stick these back in the pattern thing and actually set up the actual centrifuges to be crafted. So how many of these things I don't actually know we're going to need. It's mainly the elite ones that are going to be auto crafted now. The elite centrifuge casing is made like this. I don't need to auto craft anything else in here, do I? Uh, maybe I the vendor and blaze powder is made like that just in case. Centrifuges, centrifuge, that's going to be made like this. Um, I'm just going to have to manually craft up a ton of, um, what's it called, the buckets and... Iron, actually, I'll just give Tella to make iron bars. Why not? Because I don't think I have enough iron for it anyway. So that might be a bit of a problem. So stone. I might need to go smelt up a bunch of stone. Uh, but there's nine patterns. I should be able to stick all of these in here. And if we look up now, centrifuge. Can I make one of these? Missing five, missing four blocks of netherite, missing five iron. Right. If I look up netherite, let me just make a couple blocks of these. I just turn all of it into blocks. I think I actually just need the blocks. I don't need the ingots. Oh, I do need the ingots for some parts. Uh, okay, I'll just make two stacks of them for now. That should be able to cover it. Come over here. Oh, is this thing actually finished? Oh, it is. We could actually do creative flight right now. We just grab out the centrifuge casing and stick these in here. And if you look up iron, how much iron do we have? 23. So that makes us two blocks. Not very much. So, yeah, uh, I really just need to get one apiary strapped on so I can get the bee going. i just swap these out for right now. I don't have any netherite honeycomb. I do. Maybe once the iron is done, I'll swap it out with the netherite. Get more netherite going. Yeah, there we go. And we've got ourselves 37 more balls. That's eight more blocks of honey. How much honey blocks do we have in here? And I'm out of sticks. Yeah, sticks is the only thing that's the issue with this one now. Um, can I even make... How much more sticks can I actually even make? Oh, actually quite a bit. How much wood did I even make? Okay. Maybe if I get, grab myself a hopper and a chest or something. And just let this filter in for a while. Yeah, stick the hopper there. Stick the chest right here. Fill it with the sticks. Does it actually allow it to go in? Yeah, that works. Okay. We'll just leave that generate honey for a while. Uh, so centrifuge, centrifuge. So centrifuge. 
I need to make myself one main elite casing. There we go. Uh, controller. Now, it is a 3x3x4, three by three by so I need a total of 36 blocks, I believe. And we're minus one, so I need 35 of these guys. So, 34, 35. It says I have enough. Oh, for a second, I thought I made the controllers. So, just leave these crafts. So let's head over here now. Down to our area where we're doing the bee stuff. In here, we'll set up the first one underneath this guy. Let's remove this torch and just stick it in the back corner. And grab out our 35 of those. So it's done. Is this directly center? Here's directly center. So we're going to stick the uh, nine of these there. And we're going to build it up. Now, I can't necessarily remember exactly where the controller goes. I can't remember if it's like the front middle or is it... Yeah, okay, it's here. So break this one, stick this up in the corner, and then centrifuge controller goes in there. There, there you can see. It does six items at once, and it'll do them very quickly. So all I have to do is grab cable. Uh, advanced universal cable, grab myself a point. Here we are. And break this bottom block, turn on hover mode, and maybe dig a straight line. Small mining tunnel. Yeah, this one. So, break this. Maybe that digs down the way. Oh, small tunnel straight. There we go. So, underneath the middle of each one, I will be coming down like this. And I'll put a point right here. Because this will be hidden then. The sky power. And then I'm just going to come out and then down. And then go over as many as it needs. So, I need to put one underneath each uh, block. So one will go here, one will go here, and you know, I'll stick another one here. Why not? Then I'll just come down and just run straight these across. Oh, okay, that was weird. And now I need to come back inside. So fly up over top, down, and now I can actually fill back in the floor. And uh, this one is not meant to be here. There we go. So once I fill back in the floor, all what will happen is now when I build a centrifuge on top, it will get power and it'll be good to go. So for instance, then if we look up comb and yeah, just take out these 23, stick them into this guy. You can see how fast it goes and it's just great. So I can spread them out and it does all of them at once. So look how fast that is. And the thing is, honey is getting stored inside here. So I will be setting up the quantum tank at the back here with mechanical pipes sucking everything out. So I'm not going to be too worried about that. But yeah, now we've got one center, um, elite centrifuge. Hang on, just stick this here. Just covering the floor. I don't, I'm not going to put anything over there. Maybe I will later on, if, depending on how crazy the comb production gets. Because with one tier 4 apiary, each bee will be, will be producing... Is it the tier four one that produces? Yeah, okay. With tier four apiary, they produce eight comb each. And they produce it like every two minutes. So it, it's going to be quite a lot of comb coming through. All right, I'm going to make 25 more of these. That's almost enough. I think I need a 28 in total to be able to make the next, um, to make the tier four ones. There's one tier two, uh, still a few short. We're almost there. We're just waiting on the honey. And it turns out when I came back over here, um, sticks got put in here for some reason. So it wasn't even producing the honey when I needed it. Stick those in there. That makes two more. Use this. Do I have enough? I need one more. I'm still two honey short. There we go. So two honey in there. Makes one. Upgrade this into a tier one. Do I have enough to make it under tier two? No, I'm still a bit short. I just need to keep compressing this honey up. Kind of annoying the way that... The bottles get remain inside the inventory here. I could probably set up a couple more solidifiers. Um, and just get even more honey being produced. Like, how many of these can I make? Two more. Okay, so if I just grab myself some cable. And a mechanic, a logistical pipe instead. So, say, break this point. Break this uh, hopper. Put a solidification chamber here. A solidification chamber there. And run some... Power cable underneath here. Stick a point there. 
and logistical pipe will go across the sides here. And just set this guy up to extract and then just fill everything with sticks. As long as it doesn't fill the, that point or like the, the center piece here with sticks, then we should be okay. And now I just need to pump more honey into it. So mechanical pipes, mechanical like this, and that should just keep everything filled with honey and make more honey blocks even faster. So we'll just have to wait and see. We should be almost ready to make a tier four apiary. All right, we're really close now to being able to make ourselves the actual tier four apiary. I just need one more tier one and I should have everything for it then. Oh, I almost have enough now. How many more of these? Oh, no, we have it. Okay, so one, upgrade that into two. That will upgrade into the last tree and then tree into four. Oh my God, finally a tier four apiary. Now I know that's going to be a bit of a problem at the moment because, well, I can't make any more. <laughs> so if I just grab out one apiary storage for now, so one of those, and I'm just going to grab myself an importer, uh, actually a chest. So just a diamond chest, just in case anything backs up. Uh, importer, uh, should have be able to make one. Yep, there we go. Uh, I don't actually think I have any stack upgrades or speed upgrades. Uh, speed. If not, I can just make probably make four. So make four, I think a total of seven then. Upgrade that into that and then these trees. So there we go. Max speed upgrades for that. Now we're going to do the iron one first because iron seems to be one of the other ones that I'm really struggling on. So I need to grab out with some bee jars. So 13 is probably more than enough. Open this. I need to pick up every single bee that's in here without messing anything up. Grab you. How many bees are in there? Two. So I have to wait for them to come out. And once they come out, I can break the hive. Uh, hopefully not aggroing the rest of them. And then I can actually put down the, the thing I need. So, okay, there you are. So I'm going to put the apiary storage in the wall right here. So let's break this. There we go. When you open it, you can see that in here. If I wanted to, I could increase the storage on it. So I'm not too worried about that. And I can actually get rid of the item collectors that are underneath here now with the chest and get rid of that cable. All that, then all I need to do is get cable running around to actually hook up the exporting out of these chests. So if I just break this here... And then stick the chest there. Oops. Stick a chest here. Grab my logistical pipe. Stick a logistical pipe there. And set this guy up to extract. So whenever... Oh, you're out. Um, that every single bee in here now. No bees are left in there. Okay, so I break this. Every bee in the area is going to get angry. Yep. I don't need you. I don't need you. And I don't need you. Uh, that's... Timer's gone, but whatever. So all I need to do is grab some dirt. Dirt and a plank. Here we are. So plank in the back wall. Dirt right there. Break this block. And all I have to do now is just stick the apiary right there. And I need to offset. What am I missing? What block is telling me it is not a valid block? Because the actual thing, validate. Block of position... Okay, there must be something uh, I'm missing. F3. Actually, yeah, okay, F3. So, telling me block at X266. So, X266. It's telling me this block right here is not valid. What? Is it this one? And Z210. All the way across. Is this? Oh, please don't tell me this type of cobblestone is not F. Actual, like compatible oh my god it's not this cobblestone brick block is not compatible with the hive are you serious what block do i have in the corner here planks okay not necessarily to worry i just grab out my spruce logs here and remove the road that's here i could technically increase this down the way and run this back across I'll have to do this for every single one. And now just strip it. And now if I come back in here somehow. Turn off F3 because that's just grown crazy. Now uh, I'm missing a block there. Hang on. Let me just grab back the dirt. So put the dirt in the ground. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So cobblestone brick from Quark is not a compatible block with the apiary hive. 
I thought it was, but apparently not. So you, if you're going to use it for decoration, like to split in between the walls, you just need to make sure anything within inside it is just like a compatible block. And you can know if it's compatible is when you hover over it. And if you have advanced tooltips on, you can press F3 and H for that. You can see it says resourceful bees, valid apiary. And this mana glass is compatible with it. But it says apiary now, so I can actually import every bee like this now. That every bee now should be a total of 10. This thing can only hold nine unique bees at once. But it's fine because once you one bee comes out, you can the other one be able to fill its slot and then to be able to interchange spaces between the hives. So let's click these lock buttons to unlock the bees and allow them to exit the hive once their tick time is going down. You can see this silver one is about to come out any second now. Uh, even okay, yeah, look, they're all coming down now. I can import this guy and unlock him, and uh, out he came. Uh, nope, unlock. Now you can see all of them are out and are going to harvest their stuff. And when they go back in and then they come back out again, there will be eight comb left in here from each bee. And since technically there's nothing going to be pulling it out of this chest yet, we'll be able to see that happen. So all of the bees are going in. So there's 200 ticks on this iron bee. That's the one I really want to have a look at. So this coal bee is, or the cobble bee is, or the silicone bee just came out. 80 ticks left in him. You can see how long it is. He doesn't even stay in there like more than like less than a minute. Now he's out. And if we open this here, you can see all of the comb coming through. And it is beautiful. So that's how you set up an apiary. So if we come back down here now to where this spot is, we grab ourselves some cable. Okay. Uh, we're not going to need this chest anymore. We can break this item collector and fill back in the floor. And then we can grab our exporter or importer so importer there cable down connects it there and that's going to pull everything out of that chest that our bees are producing if we look in this chest here everything is gone and if we open our system and look at comb you can see all the comb we just mined mined gathered and harvested is out now and you can see look there's 16 iron blocks now in here so it's just beautiful because now what later on we'll be doing is we'll be sticking an exporter on here, exporting out the comb, and another importer importing all the resources, and then a mechanical pipe on the back, sucking out all the honey, and storing it in a quantum tank. So before we finish, we need to make ourselves a creative flight. So let's come down here now, and grab our ender stars. So ender stars. Come back up top. Let me actually craft these into our block. There we go. And uh, take off my jetpack now. Come over here. Stick it in there. Diamond ring. And all we need now is our luminescence. So luminescence. For luminescence, we need our advanced uh, component. This component. Yep. We need elytras. So E-L elytras. Grab our outer four elytras. Come over here and grab our gold plates. And I think the last thing we need now is feathers. Two feathers. Yep. So F-E-A. So two feathers. And now we go over here, click this angel ring. No. Why is there no angel ring? We have everything. Yeah. Why can I not craft this? Don't tell me it's gate blocked by something. Um, okay. I don't know. It wasn't in the list at all. All it did was take everything back out and re-add it and now i have the ability to craft it i don't know what that was about but i just don't care angel ring now we can throw this in our angel ring slot uh that's this one here and now we can grab out our chest plates um wait it's not called a chest plate is it it's a netherite one in the uh oh, what was it called i have no idea hashtag netherite yeah there we go Great plate of eternity. Okay. So we can stick this on now. We have complete protection from falling in the void. Preventing enemy anger. And now we have proper creative flight. No need for a jetpack. Protection against everything. I would jump off the island and test protection by the void. But I just don't want to risk it anyway. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye. <laughs>